Okay, so I'm doing a tutorial for Adobe Photoshop CS3. It's an old software program, but I'm still using it. I'm going to create a label. I haven't used this in a long time, so I just wanted to do a tutorial just to see what I know. So we click on the color to change the color, and I want it to be blue. So we're gonna choose the color blue. What you do is you clicked on the, I clicked on this little square right here and it brought up the color spectrum or color picker for the color, the foreground color. And I'm gonna click on that that type of blue. It's like a royal blue. I like that, or you can go down and make it darker. I want it to be a little bright. And you click OK and you go over and select your media that you're going to um, place the color in with. I'm going to use it to fill in the whole area, or the whole palette, not palette, but the whole um, background or foreground. And I need a paint bucket. So you go over here to one of these selections and find paintbrush. I'm not using paintbrush. So you hold it down. That's the wrong one. Okay. So I forgot about that. Let's see where it is. Is it here? Nope. <laughs> Let's see. Is it here? Nope. That's the eraser. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's not here. That's the blur, the sharpen, and the, sponge, the smudge. See? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Where is it? Let's see. Picker. Nope. I need the, the, the I need the bucket, the paint bucket. You can say something. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, crop tool. Nope. It's not clone. It's not that. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not there. Oh, sorry, y'all. It's probably here. Yep. See the gradient? There, there it is, where that little square is. See it, Sophia? I see it. The oh, gradient, yeah, the gradient. Tool. Gradient tool, then paint mm -hmm. bucket. So we're going to click you. on paint bucket mm -hmm. and just click, and the color will fill it, should fill it. Uh -huh. so let's see what I did wrong. Since it didn't fill, let's see what we need to do. Probably activate. Let's see. Undo paint bucket. Uh, right? Uh -oh. Let's see. Go to. Oh, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. <gasps> Okay. Uh, new fill layer? Solid color. Stop. Let's see if that works. I'm going to try it again. Okay, go Stop. To the Stop. Right here. Okay, there we go. Okay. I went to. <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, you, yeah. It's okay. Okay, so. Uh, where'd I go? I don't know. Where did I go? Uh. Oh, yeah. What I did was go to layer up here. I went to new fill layer. And I chose solid color. Because all I want is a solid color to put some. Because I'm creating a CD label. A simple CD label to put on a circle. Like this. Um, right here. You see how that looks? I'm going to have that to upload into this little template on this program right here. And I wanna create it in Photoshop. So I'm gonna put like the lyrics, not the lyrics, the um, the song titles. And that's it with the numbers on. Okay. And now we're gonna to go to the text. I'm trying to see if I wanna put the text on here first or do I wanna put it on here afterward instead of, so it can all fit because it has a text um, input uh, selection on this particular program as well. And I think I should do it on this program because if I did it on the one in Photoshop, it might be a little harder to make it fit onto the label. Even though it's possible and I've done it before, or people have done it before too, I'd rather do it here just to make it fit so I won't have to have those problems. You know, just to be simple about it for now, since I'm just not getting back into it. So, click text, and 
change the color. See, it says it's a white right here. This is the, the foreground color. This is the background color. So I'm going to set the foreground color to black because I want it to be black. Is she okay? Uh, she's probably, she keeps going towards the ground, and I don't know what she wants. Because it keeps just picking up, picking up, and she keeps Hold going. Hold on. I'm sorry, I don't know what she wants for real. I'm going to change the color right here. As you can see right there where the little picker, color picker is. To over here, it's going to pop up. I'm going to make it black, uh, more of a dark reddish black as opposed to a dark gray white black even though it doesn't really look like a big difference but it is it's a under hue and say oh hmm it see this is how the label looks you see the red bricks they'll make it look a little more like uh, this Okay. Say okay, and then go to the text which is already selected. It says horizontal type tool to type the text. Okay, I'm gonna click. Mm. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm not gonna do the text. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Should I do the text and just try it? I'm gonna try it. Let me just try it. Instead of doing it in this program right here, I'll try it here because I might want to have more fancier um, uh, fonts. They may not have as many font selections in this program. Let's see what they have. They do. They have a lot. So I guess it really doesn't matter which way I go. I was going to do this side just to see if I can handle it just starting out from not being with it for a while so just so click it there and start I got uh, a 17 track album okay that's all I want to do is type the song titles I'm not going to do all the extra stuff like all songs produced by written forms but I'm not going to do all that stuff for the um, for the um, label for the actual circle of the CD not all that. See how that is on the back of the city? I'm not going to do all that. Okay. So, you'll see in a minute. Let me go ahead and type it up. So, I got everything typed up. That's 17 songs. I got half, well, nine of them on this side and eight of them on this side. You see? And a list. Hopefully, they'll be able to fit. And what I do to try to make that work or attempt to make that work, I'm gonna click off, click back on the text icon, pull it over some. See, it's in a different program. And that might work. See? Click off, click back on, click right with that little cursor, with that little marker. Pull it over just a little bit to fit in this type of a circle situation going on here make that list fit just up and down I might do it in the middle like this that's be the best instead of starting up here and then to be running off the page off the page of the circle uh, label so click back over here and check it out it looks like we need to bring it down so click off click back on actually bring it down to the middle then take this I'm just I think I should just do lyrics instead of the um not lyrics but um titles instead of doing the uh um the production company okay so just to keep it simple i could put the year i might go put the year on there let me do that so let's put it right here and just type in two Oh, hold on. Yeah. Okay, copyright. <clears throat> Copy. 2003. Even though that one didn't circle that well. 
I can make a copyright circle like this. Hold on, instead of doing that, I'm gonna make a copyright circle. I'm gonna use alt and I will try to increase the size if I can. No, no, let's see. Yeah, it won't let me do it. I'll change the size, uh, point size by going up here. Going to 24. No, that's too large. Go to 18. That's Mm, let's try to, let's try uh 20 uh uh not 120 20 and that should do it then click all go back uh click back on your uh text type and then go back to 12 point, I think it was. No, 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 no. It's changing it. Hold on. I want 20. I changed this the little circle that I had. It was a little all. So go to 20. Why did it do that? Hold on. Mm. Let me go back. Go in. Okay, if they have a problem like this, go undo. And there you go. Okay, now we clicked off. Now we can change it to 12. And put a C for copyright. Ring it over. And see if that looks no, that's too good. That's too big. Change the C to an eleven. And it should work. And it should work. And then click all. Eh. Almost. Just go to undo again and type a uh, uh, smaller C. So let's go here. Let's try a smaller C to be like eight points for a copyright C. And then right in it. Dead center. Right in the center. I'm sorry. Right. There. Click off and check it out. Dang. Okay, then we can just do this. Go back to type. Try to select. Okay, yeah, there we go. And then move it around. Oops, can't see. Right there. There we go. Can y'all see that? There it is. That's it. You see this, Sophia? Yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to create a CD label in mm -hmm. Adobe Photoshop. What, like, like what I do? Like, mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, dude. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And then I'm going to type the, the year mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. You're right. Don't worry. Yes, it's so hard. Yeah, yeah, I know you're doing your thing. I'm going to go back and try to shift around this oh, circle in the hole. Uh, see in the hole. There you go. And that's, that's it. Okay, now I'm going to save it, go to file, and go to save as, I'm going to go over here, I've already named it when I opened it up in the program, and right here, that's the name of my file, and I will save it as a Photoshop file first, and then I'm going to go back to file, and I'm going to save it as a jpeg what i remember how the things go where is it save as and click right here drop down for the format i could do bitmap for jpeg we'll do jpeg it's a bigger file it's bitmap version
can say. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to go here. And go to the label. Okay. Let's see what we do here. We're going to work with the CD DVD label, not the CD spine, not multi purpose, because that's how these things look. No, I'm not doing those labels. I'm doing this label. I'm going to do three of these. I'm going to first double click. Yeah. Double click. What does that say? Double click toad and takes import song title insert and then click on import. Hmm. Okay, see this is text, I'm not doing that, I'm going to change my mind about that, so pictures, pictures, and then go to, let's see, mm, where did it, Put it in one of these. I think it was this one. Oh, oh, nope. Yeah, there it is. And click on it. Let's see, okay, there you go. Ah, move it over. Ah. You know, I'm going to have to stretch it. Because it is just a little bit too far over. This should do it. Hopefully. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and I'm gonna pull it up. Hopefully, this will work. Let's see. Hopefully. Down, down, down. There we go. Uh, up, up, up. There we go. Dang it. Okay, and where's the out, outer? Let's see how this works. Hmm. That's, that's okay. It's just the way it works here sometimes. Let's see. Let's see. What I can do is bring this down. Bring that out. Not, don't, I don't want to go past that white line. I know because I think that's the zone we don't want to go past. Let's see if you can help it. Really, the red line there. Up, up, up. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to let's see what they're doing here. File, save as. And then I'm going to print it. Oh, let me put the stuff in. Okay, that's it. Okay, now let's see how to print it. You go to, because this is called Staple CD Labeler. I'm sorry, Staple CD Labeler B5, which is version 5. Go to file print preview. This is how it's gonna look. Mm -hmm. Hold on, because I can see there's a little blue. Okay, let's try this again. File print preview. Okay, I guess I'll do. Let's see. Okay, so uh, it's off. Hold on. Let's bring it up. So, right. File print preview. Yeah. So 
mix all. Go to file, print. And you know, I want both. So, let's see how you do both. Hmm. Hold on. Print. Oh, well, let's see. Eh, let's see. File, print. I'm trying to see how I can get both of the labels selected. So it's not showing. So let me just go print it and see what happens. All this, I'll just put it back through the feeder. And print the other one. Just waiting. Okay, let's see how it looks. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good. You know, I got some of the parts of the S on these words off the, and the one off of that. So that's it. Let me try to do the bottom one. Okay, so I'm going to go back to print. Print. I'm gonna select the bottom one and print and see if that's gonna do the bottom. I guess that's how you do it in this program, or not. I'm just trying my best from using it the first time. They worked, so that's good. Okay, so all I need to do is center or format my, um, you know, my, uh, my titles better. Just bring them in some, and then it should come out better. So I'll go back into Photoshop and bring them in some, and then I can print them up, and it'll be better. And I can put them on my CDs. Okay, thank you for watching.